the hackles of freedom-loving people, truth-loving people, should go up at the very idea that any government wants to be the arbiter of truth. That's bad news. Uh, and there it's happening in the United States of America, and everyone knows the old line about, you know, if you know, whatever happens in America, or if you know, if, if America sneezes, the world catches cold. You know, so you have to you have to look at it as a canary in the coal mine. You have to look at what's happening in America and and be on your guard uh, because all governments all governments will be looking in a very interested way at uh, at the idea of a government body controlling the dissemination of what is perceived to be the truth because if it seemed to work in favour of the present US government, you can bet your bottom dollar that other governments will seek to do the same. Life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. You know, the, the idea of America is about freedom and, and the opportunity for each person to find their own way to their own happiness. And it doesn't really sit comfortably along the, along the, 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 alongside the idea of, of, of the government deciding what's true and, and what's not. And René Descartes, who was a, a, a French philosopher, he, he went in pursuit of the truth. It, well, t they, he, he wanted to try and understand the extent to which there was, if, if there was anything that he could absolutely prove to himself had to be true, in, in term, because he was worried that his senses were, were tricking him and that, that maybe reality was something different than what he was seeing and feeling. That there, there, there might be something else, and, but ultimately he it was it was René Descartes who came up with the idea that's cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. To his great relief, he realised that that he must exist because he was capable of of wondering if he existed. That if he didn't exist, there would be no Descartes to wonder if he existed. So he came up with cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. So, so the, the pursuit of truth, it's, it's century, it's, it's, it's probably as old as the human species. What is the truth? You know, that is, that's what Pontius Pilate said at the trial of Jesus Christ, you know. What is truth? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult concept. But at the very least, because it's so elusive, because it's so difficult to pin it down, Americans in this instance, but anyone, should be very, very concerned about a government, an elected body of here today, gone tomorrow politicians who have the audacity, the temerity to suggest that they should be the people deciding what's true and what's not. No organisation, no body wields misinformation and propaganda with to greater effect than a government. History shows us that, and you, and therefore, a, a, a noble government ought to resist the temptation to be the arbiter of truth. And any government that crosses the line and says, "No, we will decide what's true," that's a government that you've got to watch.